The goddess Sitatapatra, uh, Sitatapatra, Sita means white, Patra here means umbrella, but umbrella is not really so um, um, ladylike or distinguished, so it's maybe better to say parasol, the white parasol Ushnisha goddess. So this is a, this is a tantric Buddhist goddess. She uh, is uh, generally either in peaceful appearance or in slightly peaceful, slightly wrathful appearance. And uh, she has many different forms. But really, first of all, what's important is to understand that she's actually called Ushnisha Sitatapatra. And goddesses that have this, this word Ushnisha in front means that they are produced, they're created uh, from a, a ray of light that, that shoots forth from the Ushnisha of the Buddha. So it's, it's really a, a deity produced from the crown protuberance of a, of a Buddha. In this case, it's, uh, it's Shakyamuni Buddha or, or something that belongs to our time period, our eon. So with uh, Ushnisha Sitatapatra, She's the white uh, uh, parasol goddess, and uh, she's called that because she also holds a parasol, and uh, in some forms, uh, then she holds two parasols. So it can depend. Now, really, uh, she's a little bit of a complex deity in terms of there's uh, multiple forms of her, plus there are some large mandala configurations, and there are some uh, forms of the deity which are uh, very complex. So, first of all, we have a one-face, two-armed form. Then we have three-face, six arms. And that's really quite common. That comes out of the um, traditions of Bari Lotsawa and uh, Patsap Lotsawa. Comes out of the Sadhana Mala tradition. So we have quite a, quite a, um, a, a range of uh, avenues of entry into uh, the Himalayas from India for the three face six armed. Then we have three faces and eight arms. Three faces, ten arms. Five faces, ten arms. A little bit more obscure with that one. But then we get the most complex of all the forms of Siddhattapatra, and that's the 1,000 faces and 1,000 hands. And it could be 1,000 legs also, I, I, I'm not sure. So it, it's, it's very complex. Uh, she stands, and her, her, uh, her main function really is, uh, is a kind of removing of obscurations, obstacles, but especially for the, for the country, for the region, the country, and even you can extend it uh, to the empire. In China and under the Chinese emperors, the, the Sittatapatra in uh, 1,000 faces, 1,000 arms was very popular as a protector for the entire Chinese empire. Um, now, in terms of mandala configurations, we have the 16 deity mandala. Now that's three faces, eight arms. Then we have a 17 deity mandala, thousand faces, thousand arms. 27 deity mandala, similar, thousand faces, thousand arms. Then we have a, a 29 deity mandala, and that comes out of the tradition of Mitra Yogan. So we have many, many different forms and different types of uh, Siddhattapatra. They all perform the same basic function, um, have the same basic purpose. And uh, she is uh, really quite popular in art, and we have a lot of uh, great pieces, both sculpture, uh, singular paintings, as well as uh, mandala configurations. <laughs>